here with Black is Beautiful Music. Miss Doris Troy is here with me tonight, who has a lot of things to say about everything and anything. I'll get back to her in a minute. I'm going to play a surprise track from the OJ's new album out on Philly Sound. All right, we'll be back with you in a second after the break. Released to coincide with their current tour, Silverhead's new purple album, 16 and Savage. And take a listen to this track, Rock Out Claudette. Silverhead's 16 and Savage album, out now on Purple Records and available at Harlequin and other good record shops. King, big leg woman. Big leg woman. I've got a big leg woman with me here tonight, too, Miss Doris Troy. Hi, baby. Big Doris. Have you ever worked with Freddie King? No, but I saw him at the Rainbow Theater, and I thought he was funky. <laughs> yes, he was. Yes, I love Freddie King. How did you get started in the business? Well, I wrote a little song called Just One Look, and that kind of started me off, you know. That was your first song? Yeah, my first really big song, yeah. 
And it was a good thing. You know, we'd made a demo of it, and the guy liked it. And next thing you know, we got a hit record. And that was actually the first song that you ever recorded? Yes, it was. It really was. So you definitely started right from the top. Well, if you want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd like to play Doris Troy. Just one look. Just one look. Mm-hmm. I, it is amazing. I really can't believe that your very first record was a hit. Well, Because that is a miracle. When you know what the business <laughs> is about, that is a miracle. Well, I prayed a lot, you know, and <laughs> he must have heard me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when did you actually get started? Well, I started in 1959. I used to do nightclubs, and I used to do like about six nights a week, three shows a night. And I was singing all the Ray Charles songs, you know, like, I can't stop loving you, you are my sunshine. And that started me off. And before nightclubs, where did you start singing? In the church, child. In the <laughs> church. <laughs> Sanctified church. Yeah. And your father, your father was actually a minister, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was a Pentecostal minister. One of those ministers that sang and preach and played the tambourine. He was groovy, man. He was cool. He was. Well, that's right. All right. Listen, I'm going to play you um, a track called... Do What You Can, which is by Wendell Richardson. Wendell used to be in a group called OCB Saw. Oh, yeah, I know Wendell. He's doing the same thing now, and it's beautiful. This is actually one of the best LPs I have heard for a long, long time. Okay. Do What You Can. Shit. 
Do what you can. Wendell Richardson. All right, that was really nice. The stylistics have uh, a new LP out called Rock and Roll Baby, and there's a beautiful picture of a little black boy on the front. It's oh, really yeah. It's fine. And they have a track on it called You Make Me Feel New. me feel so new. Doris, at the height of your career, you were one of the most successful backing vocalists mm-hmm. in England. Did you also do backings when you were in, in the States? Yeah, I did. I used to do a lot of backing for Atlantic Records and Solomon Burke and the Drifters. In fact, that's how I met Dionne Warwick and Dee Dee and those. Did you resent the fact that you didn't make a lot of money out of your sessions, even though some of the songs that you performed on? were enormous hits. Well, I always wish that backing singers could get residuals, you know, and royalties, because I would have a lot of money then, you know. But since they don't, then we just charge the highest session fee we possibly can get. You know? But isn't there some way that you can change that? Well, I'm trying every day, Marcia, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we started with nine pounds over here for sessions, and now we've gone up quite a bit now, you know. So right. it's getting better. It's getting much better now. And who are the top session singers in this country? Are there a lot of them? No, it's not a lot. I would say just a handful. You know, Madeline Bell, um, Barry St. John, Liza Strike. 
Rosetta Hightower, and another new girl called Joanne Williams. Nice one. We'll talk to you again after the news. Chucky Buzzard, back from their successful American tour of their new Purple Album, out now, produced by Bill Wyman. From wine and women to run in the morning. Just two great tracks from their Buzzard album by Tucky Buzzard on Purple Records. Available at Harlequin and other good record shops. Ever been more chocolate on a biscuit? Ten o'clock, Paul Michaels with Capital News. Israeli Prime Minister Mrs. Meir has flown into London. Christopher Hamusius is at Heathrow Airport. Mrs. Rhoda Meir arrived at Heathrow Airport at 20 past nine this evening. Strict security measures were in force and there was no press conference. Israel's Prime Minister is in London to attend a meeting of Socialist International. The conference starts at 12 noon tomorrow. While she is in London, Mrs. Meir will meet Mr. Wilson for talks tonight and Mr. Heath on Monday. Christopher Wuzios, Capital News. London transport workers may go on strike. London's tube drivers have called for strike action and will meet with busmen to decide when the strike should take place. Ted Miles of the Railwomen's Union, ASLEF, explains what is being planned and why. The idea is to coordinate uh, strike action on a date to be determined in order to um, bring pressure on the government as they hope that will give London Transport some relaxation in order to pay the, the rates of pay that London Transport themselves want to pay. Farm workers may strike next year unless their pay demands are met. They want a basic wage of £30 a week next year and £35 the year after. If their demands are refused, they will call a special meeting next year to discuss industrial action. Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips were cheered when they arrived for the Festival of Remembrance at the Albert Hall tonight. They were with ten other members of the royal family, along with Mr Heath and Mr Wilson. As the various contingents of the forces took their place on the platform, there was a standing ovation for the Chelsea pensioners. American Secretary of State Dr Kissinger has been warmly welcomed in Peking. He has been given a large banquet in the Hall of the People and has been honoured by the Chinese for his Middle East peacemaking role. 51 degrees in London, a dry night is expected. Paul Michaels with Capital News, in tune with London.
that's the first time you've heard the Pointy Sisters. Do you like them? Yeah, I think they're kind of groovy, man. They remind me of the Staple Singers a little bit, a lighter version of the Staple Singers. But I like them. I think they're good. They look incredible. Yeah, that album cover is really funky, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> They're all dressed up in 30s clothes, and it's really nice. I noticed that you have changed your style, madam. <laughs> Put a little bits of green in your hair. Do you like the green yeah. in my hair, Marsha? Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I like think it's it. kind of cute, too. All right. Okay, baby. whole lot of shaking from the Miracles. Robinson and the Miracles. whole lot of shaking in my heart. He's so fine. Yes, he is cute, yes. Marcia. Now, yes. I have always said I would never marry, but I would marry this man. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even from his first record, Ooh Wee Baby, remember that? Oh, oh that what? was sexy. No, 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 that wasn't. Listen, the first big thing he had in the States, remember a Bad Girl? Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was beautiful. That was pretty, too. That was absolutely beautiful. Jimmy Cliff has a song called The Harder They Come.
All right, that was Jimmy Cliff singing The Harder They Come. Darcy, you performed with Jimmy, haven't you? Yeah, I've been in the studio with Jimmy quite a few times. I like Jimmy. He did some really good things. You, in fact, were on the, uh, on the track Wonderful World, Beautiful People, which was his... Was that his first big hit here? I don't know, but I know that was one of his biggest hits, yeah. Cat yeah. Stevens produced it. It was fun. It was good. All right. I'd like to play uh, a Donny Hathaway song. Are you into Donny? Donny Hathaway. <laughs> Actually, he makes me stop when I sing. <laughs> because I can't sing anyway. <laughs> but when you hear him sing, you think, well, step back and let him take over. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, it's always been for us. You know, but he is a beautiful talent. He is. Incredible. He produced some of uh, some of Roberta Flack's early things, didn't he? Mm-hmm. I think he played on them as well. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll play a little of Roberta Flack now singing... River.
River, Roberta Flack. Miss Doris Troy. <laughs> yeah, Mama. <laughs> okay. Now, listen, when you came to this country, how long ago did you, in fact, come to England? Well, um, this time I came in 1969, and then I hooked up with Apple, and I did a few things with him. Did Apple actually bring you over? No, no, I came on my own. I came just to have a little break away from the stage, you know. And um, while I was here, I figured I'd get into something. And know? how did you run into the Beatles? Well, what happened was I did a session with Billy Preston. Madeline Bell called me for a session with Billy Preston, and I walked in. There was George Harrison and everybody. I said, right on, you know. So from there, we started linking up, you know. And it worked out all right. It did? Mm-hmm. It could have been better, but, well, there you go. It couldn't have been that fabulous, or you'd still been there. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Right, it could have okay, been better, you okay, know. Okay, but we'll be subtle about it. Yeah, it was politics, you know. Right, okay. You had a, a track on your album called Games People Play. Doris Troy, Miss Doris Troy, let me say, <laughs> singing the games people play, and they definitely play games. Oh, all over the world, baby. Games people play. Okay, you were talking about Apple before, and I don't want to commit you to too much, but um, did you write this song because of what you had been doing there? Well, no, I didn't write this song. This is a Joe South song. Oh, wow. But it did fit the situation, Uh huh. if you know what I mean. <laughs> and would you, would you say that the... That the bigger the people, the bigger the games they play. Well, I'd, I'd say that, but it's not really the people involved. It's, it's the uh, administration part of it that's the hang-up. I mean, because as artists, all of artists are beautiful people to me. You know, mm -hmm. George was beautiful, the whole scene. But it was the top shelf, if you know what I mean. Right. You know? Okay. And sometimes glasses fall off the top shelf. <laughs> I <I'd> said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Doris Troy, we'll just have a break. Have an old crow. Oh, dear you, sir. In front of my lady wife. No, Henry. He means old crow whiskey. They make those marvellous cocktails with it. Old fashions, Manhattans. I'll take Manhattan. I say, Millie, they're playing our tune. Have a second honeymoon with old crow, America's finest bourbon.
that's a Jackson Fox singing Mama's Pearl. There's a group in the States called the Ohio Players who are incredible looking. I should have showed you the cover of the LP because mm. they've got great big behinds and they wear really tight trousers and oh, they look yeah. fantastic. Really fantastic. Little midriffs out and mm-hmm. whatever and whatever. Anyway, they have a track called Ecstasy, which has been a hit in the States. I'd like to play it for you. We're in town this week. Big producers in the States. Oh, yeah, I like Gamble and Huff. We did a thing years ago together called I'll Do Anything. Was it a hit? Well, over here it was quite a hit, yes. That's nice. Well, uh, some of the groups that they produce are uh, the OJs, the mm-hmm. Intruders. Hal Melvin and Blue Note. Right, exactly. They have a new group called the Three Degrees, a girl group, mm. chick singing. And uh, they have a track, a new single out in this country called.